Mickey. All right, Sheldon, thank you very much. We're at the Flying Biscuit Cafe, and they've already had some biscuits fly out of the oven right now, but we're not actually talking about biscuits today. I'm here with Chef Jeffrey and Chef Neil back here, and you're making oatmeal, organic oatmeal pancakes we are. with peach compote? Yes, well, it's National Peach Month, and so we wanted to just show people a pancake that we've been doing for just the longest time. And now, so we've got oatmeal and all different kinds. You've got the recipe for everybody. Now, a lot of people like their buttermilk pancakes, but this might be a, a slightly healthier version, right? Um, uh, definitely a healthier version. Okay. Um, it's got, you know, as much flour as it has in it, it has oatmeal, uh -huh. which is going to help. Uh, the only trick with these is they really, the batter is better if it sits for a few hours before you cook it. But so you're that making the, it up fresh this time, aren't I you? I am. So uh, does it... Uh, do you cook it on the skillet about the same um, amount of time as you do a regular pancake? No, you're looking at three or four minutes per side on these so that you get them done in the middle. Now, usually with a, a, a buttermilk pancake, I start to see it bubble up, you know, those right. little, little bubble marks. Yes. And then that's when I know how to turn it. How, how do you know how to turn these suckers? Well, you will see the bubbles. You will see it start to dry out on the outside. Uh -huh. You'll see those same things. Um, it just takes longer to see it. Okay. So what all have you put in there so far? So this is um, organic oatmeal and all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, and cinnamon Ooh. with eggs and um, milk. And then we take butter and you melt it and you cool it. If you don't cool it, you're going to get little flecks of hard butter throughout your batter. Okay. So you can't cheat. You have to do it the right way. All right. We about ready to put it on there? Yes. All right. And you got your peaches. Uh... Yes. So this is our warm peach compote. It's uh -huh. peaches with a little bit of orange juice and a touch of brown sugar. And I know you got those peaches right here in Alabama, didn't you? Uh, well, I think we did, yes. <laughs> they appeared this morning when uh, I got here. All righty. Well, we've all got right. some, probably some good old Chilton County peaches in there. Chilton County? Chilton County. Chilton County. All right. All right. Let's see. I need... I need we got a, about two uh, minutes to get this done, need Chef. A, uh, uh, ladle. Okay, the they're pancake. conferring. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to get it all, but you're cooking with gas, so, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Well, those are some you put on a little bit earlier. I put them on a little earlier so that y'all would be able to try them because they take so long to cook. Uh-huh. And I didn't want to hold you up. Oh, well, I appreciate that. We're going to we're gonna cheat. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Now, what do you put in your uh, peaches to make it this uh, fancy compote? Well, a compote is just fruit cooked in, in a sugar syrup. Okay. Um, but it's just a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of brown sugar. That's I like all it. you need. I like it a lot. All right. So I got you. Thank you. Now, I cheated. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, these are big, big pancakes. Yeah, they are. They're really dense. The cinnamon has a really nice smell, which means kids will usually like them. Okay. And then we get a... And they don't have to know it's oatmeal in there. No, they don't care. You know, at, at that age, they don't care. Okay, and then that's the Feast de la Resistance. Yes. You putting powdered sugar on top of that? We do not. Okay. Um, because then it wouldn't be quite as healthy. Okay. Um, but we definitely love to put the peaches on there, and then it soaks into the oatmeal, and it soaks in. It's so delicious. We actually had a guest... Um, order we have an app now because we're trying to be fancy we had a guest order these in the middle of the night to pick up at seven o'clock the next morning so it's really cool chef i can see you're only missing one thing what am i missing a fork what uh oh i uh, better get a fork or uh, we're uh, in uh, trouble uh, okay we're gonna get you a fork because you definitely have I, to try these I gotta try this i'm gonna have to find a spot all right give me one right second here. we'll have you a fork okay here we go oh all right. Hope you don't mind me eating in the kitchen. No, no we'll pretend it's not happening. Okay. I don't know if I will. No, they should be okay. good and soft. Here we go. Mask has got to come off for this. Mm. Aren't they good? I taste that little bit of cinnamon in there. A little bit of cinnamon. Uh huh. And the oatmeal just sort of falls apart in them so that it's not crunchy. Yeah. So it tricks your palate. Mm hmm. I might have to trick my palate a little bit more. You should, definitely. Okay. I, I'm into palate trickery right now. So uh, I, I just hate to be the one that had to come all the way out here and do this, Mike. But, you know, yeah, someone's got to do it. I, I, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. All right. Thank you, Mickey. Mm. Appreciate mm. that. All right. That just